Hi, Pilter here. Uh, this Sunday night, it's been a rough night, rough day for me, actually. But I got a hold of something at the Goodwill store for about 10 bucks. And let me show you. A snow speeder. <laughs> With the, I have the action figures I put in a TIE fighter guy, but hey. <laughs> For uh, 10 bucks, got this at the Goodwill store. I was going to get, it was that or Dash Riddendar's ship, but, um, which was for four dollars, but I don't, you know, dash render ship, you can only put like one figure in there and it's kind of sucky. All right, <clears throat> let me get to uh, my video right now, and that is about the television show Emerald City. I love it, it's a nice take on the whole Wizard of Oz, it, it, it's, a, it's a great take on it. Vincent D'Onofrio's version of the Wizard is i mean he's just crazy he's just out there it's great it, it's worth watching dorothy quite per, uh, personally i think they should have got a different actress to play her she just seems so morose she's like the least interesting character in this series the most interesting characters however is west the witch of the west glinda Jane, Jack, Ozma, and uh, Languineer, if I'm pronouncing her name right, or the Lady Ev. They are the most interesting characters <laughs> in this program. My actual point, though, is the season ended on a cliffhanger. The Beast for Beast Forever has been released. He's doing something, and that's it. And you're kind of left hanging. And my actual point is, I am so sick and tired of science fiction television shows ending on a cliffhanger. And what I mean by this is that generally it'll last for one season and you're left with nothing. Think about it. V, the remake, it, I think it had two seasons, and it ended on something, and that's it. It's canceled. You don't know what happens. You, you're you just kind of left hanging, and you're like, what? What, 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 what the hell is going on here? I, I want to find out what goes on. Can we, can we tie this up? Science fiction is basically treated very, very badly in Hollywood. I, I've noticed this. It's treated as the redheaded stepchild when it comes to stories and genre because it's like people just don't care. Which is why a show like uh, Alphas, Alcatraz, V, actually, even the original series V ended on a cliffhanger and you don't know what the fuck happens. I mean, you have books, but still, the books. Uh... <laughs> I'm sorry, it, it, it kind of doesn't do it justice. You kind of want to see the actual thing. <sighs> and um, what other series ended on a cliffhanger and you don't know what the hell happened? Heroes, it ends on a cliffhanger and you don't know what happens. There's no real tie-in or tie-up. I mean, they tried it with Heroes Reborn, but they did, or whatever. And, and you just and you're still left with more questions. It's like, can we tie this up? Don't end it on a cliffhanger. If you think, here, here's my suggestion to you guys: if you're gonna put out a sci-fi show on a network television, not the Sci-Fi Channel, on network television, have a first episode and a last episode. And if at some point they tell you, you know what, uh, we're gonna cancel it. Have that last episode ready so you could tie up everything. The last three episodes or something like that. We know you guys do only like 10, maybe 12 episodes. Pretty much by the eighth episode, you know whether or not you're going to sink or swim. And that way, tie it up. That way, we just kind of get, you know, we, we get a complete story. 
and we feel a little bit better about what we're watching. Well, this is just my two cents on it. Um, I'm actually hoping that they uh, tie up the loose ends in Emerald City. And, uh, and somewhere, somewhere along the line said, if you're going to have sci-fi or network television, tie up the loose ends. Okay, just tie up the loose ends. Oh, and uh, one other thing. Uh, Star Trek Discovery. After some of the information on various videos, I, I wish I could name them right now. I'm, I'm a little buzzed right now, so <laughs> I didn't write down who. All I know is there's a guy named Les Moonbez, Moon, Moon, Moonbez who's basically a guy who cannot tell the difference between Star Trek and Star Wars that's going to kind of push the show. And at this point, I, I'm going to have to amend what I said in my previous video. I think this is going to suck balls, <laughs> this show. I really honestly do. I mean, when you have somebody to put something out there under the guise of, well, we just put Star Trek in front of it, they'll just, the nerds will watch it. No. No. Well, that's all I got to say. Um, when I'm sober, I'll put out another video. Until then, take care. Filter out.